Hello everyone, I am Erika of BeadingSchool.com and you are watching Coffee Time with Erika, my weekly BD broadcast. Today it's time to see what's inside the next Beading School Academy team box and of course to learn about the newest source of inspiration that we are going, uh, going to work with for the upcoming time. Please let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me. I would like to make sure that everything is all right before we would move on to the important thing. I have a Facebook user friend here and Linda and Ave and Angelica Lita. Facebook user friend says that she can see me and hear me. Thank you so much. Sarah is here. Sarah is excited. Who isn't excited today? <laughs> Faye, good morning, Faye. Antoinette, Marta, Katie, Angelica, Alison, Terry, Daniel, Reinhilde is here, Matrek, Gunnel, Marianne, Joyce, Margarete, Corinne, Angelica. So nice to see you, ladies. If you haven't heard your name uh, that I would greet you, then it's because I don't see your name. Uh, there is a link in the description of the video. And if you click that, then you can enable my broadcasting program to see your name and then I can greet you personally. Or actually, it makes it easier to communicate if you have a question and I would like to answer you personally. So also, Irina is here. Jessica, Katarina, Ludka, Sharon, Tanya. Tanya is already drooling just out of uh, just of curiosity. Nancy is here, Debbie. <laughs> and indeed I am wearing Sarah's pendant today. <laughs> I love it and thank you so much. Cindy is here and Zuzi is here too. So I was really happy to see over the past two months that how much fun you had with the flowers in the hair box. I know that for many of you, it was a big invitation to step out of your comfort zones. There were so many vibrant colors in there and maybe the colors themselves or the combination it was challenging for some of you, but as we could see, as I could see, you had lots and lots of fun with them and you accomplished so much. We did so many beautiful jewels following the tutorials from me or uh, fellow uh, friends, designers, or even making your own designs. It was a super nice time to spend with you as they, those were my happy colors but now i think it's time to move on and let's look for another source of inspiration for our beading school academy for those beaders who haven't heard of beading school academy yet then i would like to just do a little introduction so beading school academy is the biggest and most valuable BD adventure that we have ever created at beadingschool.com. It is a bi-monthly membership, a program where you can become one of our students either on yellow, turquoise on fuchsia, or fuchsia level. And always during those two months, we are going to work with a different source of inspiration. We are hearing and reading stories, sharing uh, with each other uh, or thoughts about the theme, but of course, also depending on what you choose, yellow, turquoise or fuchsia, you will also receive a box full of components that will become kind of like artifacts in the little world that you are building on your bead mat 
for those two months. There are also, of course, tutorials coming from me and also from fellow designers. And now we are saying goodbye. We so said goodbye to our previous team and we are embarking on our next little journey, a special one since it's coming at the end of the year. This is a time of the year when all around the world different uh, holidays are celebrated. And starting with Diwali and then Hanukkah will come and Christmas will come. It is a time of the year when I really treasure those moments when I can sit down and spend time together with my loved ones. Instead of going out and having all kinds of experiences in different places, I really like to be at home, light a candle, uh, drink a hot tea, wrap myself uh, in a warm blanket and enjoy those heartwarming moments spent with my loved ones. And of course, we are also celebrating this time of the year or like focusing on these feelings also in the Beading School Club. Uh, we get to know each other's traditions. There are so many of us from all kinds of different places that it's really, really beautiful to see what do we celebrate in different countries, what kind of foods do we, do we like to prepare, and then, of course, to enjoy what kind of traditions do we have. Also, we are sharing recipes, we are having a secret Santa and I thought that the newest Bidding School Academy team box should also contribute to building up those heartwarming feelings towards the end of the year. And <laughs> some of you already noticed some clues that what might be the color combination of the newest box. So can I see it one more time? What do you think? How do our newest Academy team box look like? What kind of colors are included? Or what do you think? What is the main color of the box? In the meanwhile, Carol joined us and Sangeeta is here, Wanda. Belinda, Jennifer, Sherry, Robina, Marianske, Constance, Kristen, Aniko is here, Brit Marie from the bus, Tabasco Shea. Oh, Korean, I was, was hoping for a box of chocolate. <laughs> Metric says reds for warmth. Jessica also says red. Elena says hi. Belinda says not a clue. Antoinette thinks it's red. Corinne also says it's red based. Sherry, Facebook user friend. Gunnel, Sheryl. Aniko says maybe red and gold. Wanda says deep blue. So we have different, different uh, guesses. Tanya has a very interesting one. Brown of hot chocolate, green of the Christmas tree, and red from the candles. I hope not white from the snow. So ladies, now it's time to see what, do, what have we been preparing for you for the next two months. We would like to create a heartwarming feeling, but also we would like to bring you warmth and the feeling of sitting together, maybe around the fire or maybe at least next to a candle. So that is the feeling that we would like to create. And 
the source of inspiration. It's one of the holidays celebrated during this time. And actually, in one of, uh, it's a less known holiday around the world. However, we have many, many friends here who I am sure that they celebrate this holiday that was the inspiration. So I am really looking forward for them sharing stories and recipes and tradition. Dear friends, the new box is called Lucius Light and it brings you red for Lucia's belt and red for that heartwarming feeling. It brings you gold and silver for the light, the hope, the celebration, but it also brings you some darker shades because there is no light without darkness. There is no candle without the dark of the night. So I really hope that you like it. And <laughs> let's see what's inside. Indeed, as Korea Yana says, Santa Lucia. And on the 13th of December, it's Santa Lucia's day. Lucia comes actually from the Latin word lux, that means light. And Lucia's day is widely celebrated in Sweden, in Norway, uh, in Denmark, uh, as that uh, for, uh, with the previous calendar, the Ge uh, Georgian, Georgian calendar. There, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, Lucia's day was the darkest day of the year. And there are lots of traditions connected to it. Uh, we will, I'm sure, share lots of stories about, about that a little bit later. And actually, before I would dig into this box that was prepared with much love, I would also like to invite this time not only your fuchsia and uh, Turquoise Beading School Academy students, but everyone who is a member of the Beading School Club for a storytelling evening with Chenge or professional storyteller on the 10th of December, 7 p.m. Central European time for a beautiful holiday Lucia themed evening that we can spend together. So, Martina says, it looks perfect. Brit Marie says, I barely have any beads in red. <laughs> Let's see now what's inside. And Robina says, what a fantastic team. I love the inspiration. Facebook user friend says, love Santa Lucia. Once dressed 24 brownies as Santa Lucia. Yes, I know there should only be one, but I wasn't going to pick just one. <laughs> Monica is here too. <laughs> and Susie says that there is also a kind of Santa Lucia celebration. And I hope that she will also share how she is celebrated. Thing. And Cindy says, my family is Swedish and we remember Santa Lucia Day. Love this theme. <laughs> I'm really happy that you like the idea. Marianska says, I have never heard of it. I'm very curious to learn about it. So I'm really, really looking forward to creating with you in this color, getting inspired by this theme. So let's see what's inside our box. I feel now switch off my main camera. So once I disappear, uh, please let me know if you can still hear me, if you can still uh, hear how I am talking.
Okay, can you hear me now? Please let me know if you can hear me. Can you hear me now? Okay. So let's see. Thank you so much for, for confirming that it's back. So let's see what's inside the box. So you will, first of all, you will also receive a little gift and either it will be a pair of glass drops in metal setting, or it can be a pair of crystal connectors for your earrings. It might be red, it might be black, it might be crystal, always matching with your team. And Eve is asking, is this the fuchsia or the turquoise box? Thank you for your question, Eve. So this is the fuchsia level box. So this is the bigger version. And you can always see, we will also have friends designers opening boxes. So you can always make sure when, when you see that what kind of box they are opening, that this is this part is colored to a quasi or fuchsia. So opening my box and let's have a first impression. Actually, many of you were asking us for more silver tones. Uh, silver tones in the boxes. So we did our best to include lots of silver tones for you. Linda already says, love, love, love. Matrix says, so pretty. So, let's see one by one the components. So, to start with, we have here some 4mm Precious Azulon rhinestones in gold-colored settings. And these are Indian pink. They come in a gold metal setting, which has two holes in a cross shape on the back side. So it's super easy to attach these on top of your beadwork. Even if you are making, for example, peyote bales for your uh, pendants, then you can always add a suwon rhinestone to make it look more special. And Cheryl is asking more about the subscription. Dear Cheryl, if you visit beadingschoolacademy.com, then you can learn there everything. By the way, the Fuchsia box is 99 euros and it includes shipping and lots of different things. <laughs> And then some more Preciosa beads that we have here. This is brand new. So far, what we had from the faceted round crystals, they were the four and the six millimeter ones. However, there is a new line of three millimeter faceted round Preciosa crystals. So they are tiny and sparkly and beautiful. And for me, as I was playing with them, they are kind of the equivalent, a little bit bigger equivalent of true two beads when you can replace pretty small beads by uh, faceted beads to give the design even more sparkle. So these come in crystal full Labrador. So it means they are full silver, all the facets. And they are, they are incredibly sparkly. And lovely ladies, if you have 
any advice for Cheryl, who is just learning about Beading School Academy, or if you would like to share some experience of yours, please type it in. That would be really be uh, wonderful if you shared your experience with Cheryl. So these are the three millimeter Preciosas. And I'm really happy that, that uh, finally we have these. They might come in more colors a little bit later. And Kathy says, your nails are also in the team. And actually that was, thank you so much for noticing. That was the, the clue <laughs> uh, on Tuesday. Uh, sorry, on uh, Monday, because I told you earlier that I will always do my nails in matching colors for the box. <laughs> and the next one, we have four millimeter precios around purse, snake or purse, which means like they are uh, uh, like manufactured, but trying to give the feeling for uh, for real pearls. So these come in pearlescent white. Don't be afraid, there is not much white, but we do indeed need a little bit of white for the winter, I think. Wow, and Zuzi says, lovely, this is hilarious. The power is off in the whole town. We are by candlelight. You are already in Lucia mood, Zuzi. <laughs> and then next one. I like to have different things matching in the same colors. So we can create lots of different designs and select what we precisely need while keeping on team with the colors. So besides the pretty, pretty faceted round three millimeter Labrador uh, crystals, we also have a three millimeter bicon beads in crystal full Labradors, Labrador. So the color is the sh same, but while the Faceted rounds are truly, truly circular, as Marianne said. Then uh, these are bicon shapes. So this is a very beautiful color for the holidays, I think. Okay, I can't stop doing this. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's see what else you noticed that there are some bicon beads let's see now we have here three millimeter bicons in cyan so yeah that was the inspiration for the choice of my color so these are also from the Preciosa Crystal Factory, the same size than the ones that I showed you before, but in a beautiful deep red. And then to create that fire, that candle, those sparkles. Of course, we need different shades of red. So we also have here four millimeter bicons in a deeper shade called Garnet. So this color was inspired by the Garnet, the semi-precious stone, and it's a very deep red for comparison. This is Siam and Garnet next to each other. And then one more bag of bicon beads. And this is a, for me the most beautiful one that I was working with. 
And this is the four millimeter size in the color light cyan two times AB. And Marianska is asking, is this the one that is going to be discontinued? And actually I managed to include some colors which <laughs> then were announced that they are going to be discontinued. Now I don't remember for a hundred percent that bicons, I think only bicons will be discontinued. Tanya says two AB colors are always a perfect choice. Lisa is looking for the box link. Dear Lisa, beadingschoolacademy.com. Zuzi or someone, could you please put in the link for uh, Lisa? Would you be please? So nice to look it up. Thank you so much, Angelica. So those were the bicon beads that we have. Terry says all the reds are gorgeous. And then we also need, of course, some glass beads to work with. And on my mind, when I was designing the contents of the uh, box, there were different kinds of ornaments, stars that we can wear as jewels, but also that we can possibly hang on our Christmas tree or use in our different holiday decorations, maybe put them on the window or put them on the little packages that we, that we give, uh, that we might give to each other. So I thought that the gem duos would be great for a, uh, for creating those star shapes and those sparkles. This one is pastel gray and gem duo is a two hole bead, which is in a diamond shape. The bottom is flat. The top is, uh, is domed a little bit and it has two holes. The size is five times eight millimeters. Donna is asking if there is a wait list for the Fuchsia box subscription. At the uh, moment it should be possible to order it right away. So you don't need to get on a wait list, but you can reserve one right away. And then we will need, of course, crystals and cabochons to play with. The meanwhile, Zuzi said, gem duos are my favorite two hole beads. So we have here Patparajra for a lighter shade. And I think it will be beautiful as we will be creating these ombre effects as one of our beading friends here mentioned going from lighter shades towards the darker ones. So these are Preciosa Chaton Cabochons. We have a friend saying here, I love Patparaja. And there are six pieces included. And I love the warm sparkle. And there is like an inside fire in these crystals. And then, okay, let's see some metal components now because I found some very, very beautiful ones for you and I can't restrict myself any longer with showing them to you. So the fuchsia box usually includes a clasp garden clasp and this time it will be a ball shape but the surface it is textured so for me it looks like starlight and then there are little dots in between parts of the clasp so it looks 
it looks very special. Clasp Garden is a German company manufacturing clasps for decades. And truly, like, that is the name that when you see it, then their metal components are just simply of the highest quality that you can find. It's a box clasp. So it means that one part of the clasp is like a box with an opening. And then you can push the other part in and then it's tight and secure. You can use it in a necklace. You can use it in a bracelet. This is a bit bigger, so I think I will use it in a necklace. Cindy says it looks like an ornament for the tree. Oh, totally. You're so right, Cindy. <laughs> and then there is one component coming that it's, I think, not only my personal favorite, but already two or three of my designer friends who are also working with the Lucia's Light team box have immediately used it for one of their jewels. Sarah says in the meanwhile that she loves Clasp Garden and Nancy says the ball clasp, look, the clasp looks so unique. And Lutka is asking if it will be available on its own too. Yes, it will be. And that very special component that me and also I think Zuzi already used it and... Uh, well, I will, I will not say any more names because we might have some surprises this time, but several of my designer friends used it already. So it looks like an angel wing. We call it angel wing connector. It's nine times 26 millimeters. And recently we have been talking a lot about how to turn your beaded motifs into pendants or necklaces. And this is a perfect component to do that, since there is one loop in the middle at the bottom, and you can hang here your component. And then there are two loops at the ends of the wings, so then you can connect more beads or a chain to it. And it is golden colors, a beautiful gold tone, not, you know, that yellowish looking but like a very nice gold tone reminding me i would say like champagne maybe and then there are cubic zirconia stones set into the component so this was this was my favorite and gunnel is asking if this is only in the fuchsia box I'm not 100% sure at the moment. Zuzi, could you check it for me, please, if you are still here with us? We will publish a list uh, during the upcoming days. So you will then see what's inside Fuchsia and what's inside Turquoise. We always have, of course, different shades of seed beads to work with. So let's see what kind of Miyuki beads do we have this time. So there are three neutral colors that are included in this fuchsia box. Uh, there is ghost gray, opaque espresso, espresso, and matte black. And when some of my uh, some of our beaters here really try to get some information from me um, during our last storytelling night that what kind of colors will be included in the box i said that one of them will be very surprising so i was referring to black of course because i don't really use black but i was laughing a bit about myself because i so often tell you that uh, yeah don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone challenge yourself and you will see what happens maybe you will get friendly with a new color you will learn new combinations so i was laughing and told myself like erica 
it's time that you challenged yourself too. So you can create again beautiful ombre effects, mimicking the flower, the the fire, the ashes, the mm, burning coal with with these colors. I got really friendly with the espresso one. And Tanya was mentioning hot chocolate. I think this would be a perfect hot chocolate shade. Mm -hmm. And also Ginny says, hi Ginny, that's very formal for the holidays. Indeed, if you combine it with the silver, then it will be super festive. I have here also two colors of round 15 seed beads from Miyuki. So one of them is Crystal Full Labrador and the other one is Duracoat Galvanized Gold. So Labrador, you might remember, was also the name of the silver shade of Preciosa beads that we started with. And Labrador is a very popular Czech coating on Czech glass beads and crystals. So these seed beads, they are Miyuki Japanese seed beads, but the coating was done in collaboration with a Czech company. So the silver color of the Miyuki's matches the silver color of the Preciosa beads perfectly. And then we also have the golden one for the festivity and the candles and the lights. We will also need, of course, some size 11s. And those are of the same color as the uh, first size 15. So it's the crystal full Labrador. Antoinette says my favorite colors. <laughs> so, and from Miyuki, we also have here a baggie of Slender Bugle beads in matte black. And one of our new beading friends in the club beaded a motif in both the classic bugle uh, beads and the slender one. And it was amazing to see that how much more elegance the slender bugles bring to a design. And I think they will be perfect again for the star shapes that I have on my mind. <laughs> and some already on my bead mat. And then two more bags of beads from Milky. So I know that many of you really, really like to work with half Tila and Tila beads. And we haven't had, had them for some time in the designs. So it's time to bring them back. And you will receive a bag of half Tila's in Crystal Labrador formatted. So again, it is the result of collaboration between Miyuki and one of our Czech friends from the Czech Crystal Volley, a manufacturer uh, of beads. By the way, when you want to check, check if it's a Czech collaboration, uh, collaborative color or an original Miyuki color, then usually the code of the beads, when it begins with five, then it's a Czech collaborative color. And then Margaret says she loves Art Deco jewels and she thinks that the colors will also be uh, very nice for Art Deco style. And then Katya says the Tilas are pretty and they are Katya. I think you will like them a lot. It's called Matted Metallic Dark Maroon. And it's, it's red, but a matte, deep, very nice fiery shade. Laura, yes, indeed, Susie says Laura was making the slender versus regular bugle comparison. And then, so these were the Miyuki beads that I selected for you. And let's see some more components. So for the fire, for the magic of the holidays, we also have here some Bexolo beads in Crystal Sunset. 
So these are again two whole beads in a triangular elegant shape. The size is five times eight, just like the gem duos. The bottom is flat, the top is well, domed, pyramidical. <laughs> and it's on a crystal base, a color that is a little bit orange to play perfectly with Patparaja, a little bit purple to bring something magical to that night, a little bit pink. So this is a super nice color that gives depth for for your uh, to your to your jewels it will feel like sparkle when you when you include them cynthia says these are beautiful like solos and gunnell says for new year's eve so true gunnell <laughs> what a good idea and then let's see some cabochons so i have here a bag of six Pear shaped cabochons in the color mocha light cyan. So these are matte cabochons, but with a they have a depth since the back is colored and the top is see through. They are pear shaped and they are of the size 10 times 14 millimeters. You will also receive metal clothes for your uh, cabochons. So these are already big enough to use without metal clothes, but you will have the option to fix them into the metal setting. So it's your decision how you would like to use them. Also, they can be included in a design, but also they can be hanged, for example, at the bottom of a motif. This is how they look like. Rovina says, the peers are jaw-dropping gorgeous. I hope you have more colors of those. Rabina, don't you know me already? Wrong color is never enough. <laughs> and then some more, and these cabochons, there are, uh, there are lots of cabochons already, six of these pairs, but it's not enough, I would say. So we also have a pair of glass rivolis in the 12 millimeter size, and the color is ice red. So it's somewhere between cyan and light cyan, but there are sparkles inside the Rivoli. So they have this icy effect, ice on fire. <laughs> Tabasco says, wow, those Rivolis. Angelica says, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Marianska says, is that glitter? It looks like glitter, but it's like inside the cabochon. So it's not applied on top of the cabochon with the risk of like maybe the chance of getting removed, but it's inside the color. The same effect might be later coming on different colors, by the way. And now let's get back to some more metal components. So for the sake of long earrings, we have here a pair of chain pendants with cubic zirconia that you can hang at the bottom of your earrings. So there are three triangular shaped cubic zirconias at the bottom, a chain and then a loop at the top to make it easy to attach these to your beaded motif. And then another beautiful component 
for the festive season. A cubic zirconia star pendant. It's one piece. And it has cubic zirconia inside with the metal pierced through. So the cabochons are sparkly. <laughs> and then would you like to see now more beads, more cabochons or more metal components? I still have everything in my little box. <laughs> Corinne says, what a box. <laughs> so I don't see any answers that what would you like more beads okay Miriam says more beads then I have here two baggies of fire polished beads so these are powdery pastel gray and there is a bag of three millimeter ones and a bag of four millimeter ones. You can create a beautiful neutral backdrop for the uh, sparkly fiery cabochons or like uh, I know that fire uh, like red can be pretty wild but with the elegant metallic colors we will be able to tone them down and to make them really look elegant. Vittori says, bring it to me. <laughs> and then Preciosa Nacre Pearls in Salmon Rose. And I would like to mention that there is some variety inside the boxes because sometimes uh, it's simply not possible to source such a big amount of beads or components that you need. So sometimes the same beads might come in a slightly different color in your own box. And that is the case of the salmon rose that some of you will receive salmon rose and some of you uh, some of you uh, will receive cranberry red, which is also matching the whole team. So you will always have the same sizes and shapes to make sure that you can make the same designs. But sometimes there are two colors um, alternating in the boxes when uh, uh, we weren't able to get the amount what we needed. So. In my box, I have round pearls, preciosa round pearls in salmon rose. So look at them with the pastel gray and the beer drops. I think it's a very nice combination. <laughs> Matrix says, should I just get two boxes? <laughs> And Margareta is asking, do you have an example in cranberry red? I actually have a different component here in cranberry red. This is included uh, in the same color, but then you will have an idea how the cranberry looks like. So it's eight millimeter Precios and Acre Cabochons in cranberry. Perfect for square stitch bezels, of course. And this is how the color looks like. The backside is white, the top is colored, and there are four pieces in the box. Well, in this is such a wonderful different box from what came before. <laughs> Dropina is asking, just curious, how many boxes do you all mail out now? A lot. I, and I'm very grateful and happy about that, that many beaders, over 400, actually chose to be students of the Beating School Academy. 
it's a great pleasure to see you being happy with the proxies and the academy. And my colleagues did a wonderful job today. So already there are many, many boxes on their way. And Wanda says, that's wonderful to have such a large community. And indeed, I'm very grateful for it because especially how we are sharing ideas and different variations of Juvos in the club, then the more beaters, then more ideas, more knowledge. So it's very beautiful to see. And then I have here something that is completely new. So this is a preciosa half-drilled nacre button pearl in salmon rose. The size is 16 millimeter. So in comparison to the eight millimeter cranberry, also to see how they look like next to each other the colors and the sizes. And this is completely new. So this is a button pearl. It's pierced from the back. So that part is usually not that nicely done, but the top is always beautiful. And we will experiment with different kinds of bezels for the Nakre Pearl tool. I know that many of you just love um, the Nacre cabochons and the pearl effects. And I was looking for something that is uh, from the same material. It's a Preciosa, it's coming a uh, Nacre cabochon. So also coming from the factory, but I was looking for something more substantial than the tiny eight millimeter ones. The Angelica says, this is such a wonderful box. Can't wait to see the patterns and can't wait to beat them and combine them to new pieces of jewelry. Angelica, next week I'm bringing you lots of lots of jewels to show and I will have a sneak peek at the end of today's video. <laughs> and Joyce also says, looks like bead embroidery project. And that's a very good idea. And then we have also some more cabochons from Preciosa, eight millimeter chatons in Siam to match the bicons and also you will be able to alternate between Patparaja and Cyan and maybe even with the cranberry cabochons to create the ombre effects of, of fire. So this is how they look like truly with the fire inside, I would say. And Lita is asking, the button pearl is my favorite. Will there be more colors? <laughs> of course. <laughs> and my box is still not empty. Miriam wanted to see more beads. I still have a bag of beads. And this is true to fire polished bead in crystal orum foam. So I selected for you the most luxurious true to that's out there for the holiday season. So when you add this, they are about the size, a little bit bigger than uh, size 11 seed beads. So when you put them into the bezel, I mean, true to beads, then already because of the facets, they create lots of like sparkle in a jewel, but especially this color, you will see, and I hope you will love, love it a lot. And then I have some more cabochons. This is a shape 
that I know that you enjoyed a lot playing with at the beginning of this year. It's called, it's a glass novette in the four times 15 millimeter size. And again, I think this will be perfect for creating stars and ornaments for the holiday season. I selected the crystal moonlight in silver claw. So these, since they are pretty small, then they come, well, not so small, but slim. They come already set in the metal settings and you will receive six pieces. And there are two holes running through the metal setting. So then you will be able to connect lots of different beads to the, to the setting or even use the uh, use the uh, navettes as connectors between beaded motifs. And then I also have here one more thing from Preciosa that you might not know yet. This is called Lock Rose, comes in the color Crystal Silver Labrador. And it is a little flat conical shape. Veronka, my fellow designer and the beading school team, she called it like half, half by cone. And that's what they actually are. And there is one hole in the middle. So you can attach these on top of a beaded motif to give it more sparkle, or you can also use them, two pieces turned with the back towards each other for a smaller, thinner bicone variation. So can you imagine, for example, like a bezel, and then this sparkly lock rose is all around? I think that will be super uh, beautiful. And then I have here some more metal components. I have here two pairs of stainless steel earring hooks in golden color. Oh, and the friend says, I have used for embroidery, but not in a 3D piece. What a good idea again for embroidery. So back to the metal hooks that like simple and elegant, but with a very nice shape, not your usual earring hook, but a bit nicer ver version of a classic with a ball at the bottom. So you will, you will receive four pieces, two pairs in the fuchsia box. Then I have here some crystal connectors. The crystal in them is a cubic zirconia actually, and it's a five millimeter size. So crystal connector, it means that it is a sparkly, beautiful crystal set in a metal setting. And you have a loop at the bottom and at the top, so you can connect for example, a component and a beaded motif with this, or you can co uh, connect two beaded motifs to each other. Then we have here one more clasp. It's a box clasp with cubic zirconia again, silver colored. So this is how it looks like. And you can push this and then remove this part. So it needs, you need some practice to, for example, close it if you have it in a bracelet. But for me, this is the easiest type of bracelets, uh, of uh, clasps to close on my own if I have a bracelet. 
Oh, and Margaret uh, has, says the crystal connectors are great to lengthen the bracelets when the motif is too large. Indeed. Thank you so much for sharing, Margaret. And Matrix says the clasp would look so good with a piece that that is not at this well. And that was actually my reason why I selected these two because they go together so well. And then what's left? I still have two pairs of earrings. So the first pair of earring is again silver with six times. It's six times 11.5 millimeters. And this is how it looks like. So the ears, it's an ear stud with a loop and it's full of cubic zirconia. And Carol, thank you for your kind words and joys and everyone. Sharon, thank you. Sharon says, I am impressed that each of your boxes have the best quality beads, components, and findings. Looking forward to receiving this box. And I am looking forward to see you playing with it, ladies. And then I have actually one more component that is only in the fuchsia boxes. And it is another pair of earrings. Again, silver ear stud with cubic zirconia, but with a different design. So I selected this one because the big piece of crystal, it reminds me of candlelight. And this was not intentional, but I really like it that we finished unboxing. We finished checking out what are we going to play with, with specifically with these components. So I hope that the beads and the components and the designs and everything that, that we've prepared for you will bring you lots of creative ideas as always, but also light and inspiration and hope and light. <laughs> for those dark winter nights. And I am looking forward already for, to spending those dark long winter nights together with you. And next week, I would like to show you uh, the designs, what we have made so far from, with my, uh, from the Lucia's Light box together with uh, with my friends designers who are also contributing but first i have three numbers for you that are character characteristics of the lucia's light box so can you guess what 40 means and 117 means while i'm waiting for your answers i'm looking into the content Oh my God, Gunal says, this is the most inspiring box. And I'm so happy that you like it, Gunal. And Angelica is asking, can we see all of them together in a pile, please? I have a very big, messy pile here. So... I'm not sure I, I did not like arrange them in a way that it would be nice, but we will be uploading pictures very soon. <laughs> Thank you, Ginny <laughs> and everyone. And Angelica says, I love being here in the Bing Beating School and we love having you, Angelica. Cynthia says, this is so elegant. It is amazing. Oh, I'm overwhelmed. Katya says, 100 bicons. And indeed, 100 bicons, but not in the box. Well, 100 
pieces of preciosa crystals, but I did a design from the box where I included a hundred pieces of preciosa crystals in one single design. So that is the hundred. Katy says 40 bags in it. And indeed, together with the gift, it's 39 plus one. So 40 little bags full of sparkle that you will receive. And Katy says 17 patterns already made. <laughs> so not the patterns yet, but 17 designs already made by fellow designers and me. <laughs> so I would like to give you a sneak peek of what's coming. Next week during Coffee Time with Eric, I will be showing all the jewels that we have created so far. But today, one of the designs that I made for you from, for no one has to be alone. So it features one of the nacre capuchons in the middle in my version, but you can bead it also with a pearl inside if you want to use a pearl from your stash or any of the crystal revolis that come in your box since they are interchangeable in these bezels. So I hope that you are exercising with me the square stitch bezels this month. And we will create this still in November during one of the no one has to no one has to be the long classes. So thank you so much. <laughs> Miriam says I need new nail polish now. <laughs> We might be including it next time in the boxes. That might be the next gift if, if this becomes a habit. <laughs> so, ladies, thank you so much for your company today. I really enjoyed spending this time together with you. I am looking forward to bidding with you, to exploring this beautiful heartwarming theme. And please mark your calendars. 10th, 10th of December, I am looking forward to spend a beautiful evening uh, together with you. And Chenge, or professional storyteller. So everyone who is a member of the Beading School Club uh, is invited to experience that special atmosphere. Thank you, ladies. I'm looking forward to next week. And if you are not a student yet, then you can find out more at beadingschoolacademy.com. Wishing you all a nice, peaceful evening. Bye-bye.